Okay guys, what is good? Welcome to a new vlog. Today's vlog is a bit different. We're about to go and get a new tattoo by my favourite artist. I'm going to take you guys along with me so you can sh see. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that was a pretty abrupt... Yeah, that was a pretty abrupt ending. Uh, there's about 30 people coming down the street, so I didn't feel comfortable in vlogging. But yeah, before I tell you about my new tattoo, and what it means, let's first explain what all my other tattoos mean. Okay, so my first tattoo. First tattoo I got two weeks after I was 18. Obviously 18 is a legal age to get a tattoo, so I thought, yes, I'm gonna go get one. Did I rush into it? Probably, but do I regret it? No. It's probably one of my favorite tattoos, not the style of it, and not the way it was done, or who it was done by, but I do like the meaning behind it. I love the meaning behind it, should I say. And so this is my first tattoo. Hakuna Matata, I'll play some overlaying clips so you can see a close-up of it. The meaning behind it, now if you've not heard of Hakuna Matata before, I want you to ask yourself why not, because first of all, it's in a Disney film that everyone should have watched. Repeat after me. <coughs> Hakuna Matata. What? Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata Ain't no peasant craze It means no worries For the rest of your days It's our problem-free Philosophy Hakuna Matata Hakuna Matata means no worries. Now, I didn't get a Disney tattoo, even though I do love Disney. I got this because it's actually Swahili, which is an African language for no worries so it does mean no worries and i wanted to have this tattoo and look at this tattoo every day and know that no matter what i go through no matter the stresses no matter the pressure no matter the issues no matter the things that go wrong or the problems in my life i want to look at this tattoo and think you know what no worries it'll always get better there's always a silver lining okay things aren't always as bad as what they seem there's always positives in negatives and that's what this tattoo means to me so that's my first tattoo let's move on to my second tattoo okay so tattoo number two is this tattoo right here okay so that tattoo came about two years after my first tattoo it's not as in depth in terms of the meaning behind it it does mean a lot and it's basically as you can see it's a world map and it's basically there to remind me to always travel, to not settle for one place, always try and, and see the world to, so I can look at that and go, yeah, I wanna travel the world. I haven't been to this place, I haven't been to this place. It's a reminder to always keep on moving and always make sure that I take out every opportunity to go and travel, okay? Now let's move on to tattoo number three. Okay, so tattoo number three uh, is again one that means quite a lot to me and it is, it's this tattoo here, okay. Again, I'll put clips over the top, but uh, basically it is a tattoo I got after coming back from Romania after two months. That's where I fell in love with teaching and that's where I wanted to, that's where I decided that I was gonna change my career. And basically a girl that I was working with, Emma and um, Ioana, okay, both great artists. They both came together and figured out a, a drawing, a sketch that represents Romania to them. So they're locals, they're Romanian. Um, and they drew what they think Romania is in a few pictures and put them together. So on there I've got an eagle, I've got a dove, I've got the Romanian ribbon and I've got a rose. They're all things to do with Romania. Look at that uh, as a reminder and say, yeah, I had an amazing time over there. And that's what encouraged me to change careers and become a teacher. Now tattoo number four. Okay, so my next tattoo is something I'm not going to show you now because I'm outside and it's cold and I've got my jumper on, but it's, it's on the, the other side of my tricep where my Hakuna Matata is. And it's basically a compass that's broken and a clock that's broken and they clash together and there's little bits flying off it. Now, I got this tattoo in my final year of uni and I was very undecided with the direction of my life and where I wanted to go, where I wanted my career to take me. So. I got this as a tattoo to represent that time is running out, but also it doesn't matter how much time you think you have, at the end of the day, it's not going to be enough. And the same with the compass. 
there's no direction that I have there's no set direction in life that I have I'm just gonna go through it at my own pace and do it to the best of my ability and that's what that tattoo means it means that there's no time limit and there's no direction that you need to have to find out where you're going in life so my next tattoo uh, is on the same arm as my Romanian tattoo but on the other side and again it's a bird because I like birds on the arm it is an owl and it's got a rose in the background now the owls to represent Leeds because it's on the Leeds crest I went to, to Leeds University for, for three years four years altogether of my life and the rose in the background there's a Yorkshire rose and that's to re represent where Leeds is because it's in Yorkshire so yeah my next tattoo uh, is a three triangles here and I got that in Slovenia me and Daniel were walking down the street we saw a tattoo shop before we go in and I got that basically so the three triangles uh, they are called uh, a glythi and I'll put the spelling on the board it's basically just it's meanings through symbols so the three triangles the first triangle got a line at the top and that means explore the next triangle has uh, two lines inside the triangle itself and that means express and then the last triangle has a circle on top and that means learn so explore express and learn i want to explore the world i want to express what i see and all my experiences and i want to learn from those experiences and that's basically what the three triangles mean and it's extra special because i got it in slovenia whilst i was over there with danielle and she got one with a similar design so it's it's not matching but it's more symbolic that way because we're both there together and we're both exploring, both expressing ourselves and learning whilst we were there. This tattoo right here, that is a lion. Okay, so the lion's in a geometrical kind of style to go with the arm. In short, I got the lion because I'm a Leo and my birthday's in August. I feel very close and very connected to all the attributes that a Leo has. I've also got a tattoo and it's on the same arm as my Romanian eagle and my Leeds owl. And it goes just right here in the elbow crease and that is the liver bird. Now, I've got the liver bird to represent what I'm doing this year. So I'm currently doing my PGCE at Ormskirk, so that's Edge Hill University. It's near Liverpool, it's got the or it's got the liver bird on the crest and that's why I've got the liver bird. It's on this arm to signify that this is my arm. All my life experiences and events, the major life experiences and events do with traveling and, and accomplishments. I want to go on this arm. So I have the Romanian tattoo for my time in Romania. I have the, the owl tattoo for my time in Leeds. Now I have the liver bird for my time doing my PGCE to remind me that all the difficulties and all the obstacles that I've faced during my time and the challenges during my time doing my PGC because it is an accomplishment at the end of the day. And now let's look up my most recent tattoo. <laughs> Hello? Hi, yeah, I've come for an appointment with James Butler. Hey, up, mate. I'll up and get hey, it for you. Just be a moment. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's leg day. <laughs> That's what we do in leg day. Yo, how's it going, man? Do you like it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Will you tell me now if you don't? Yeah. Yeah? And now my last tattoo. So the last tattoo that I got, you've just watched me get it, and it's this tattoo right here. And it is a Thunderbird. So the Thunderbird is a Native American style tattoo, a Native American style bird. And it is there to represent my year that I lived in America. So again, it's on this arm. They're all birds on this arm. They're all events and life experiences. And it's to represent my time in America. It's also at the start, because it's the start of 
really where I started to branch out and start traveling more and enjoy traveling and want to live in different countries and want to and witness different cultures. Plus America has always been a dream of mine and always been a dream of me to go over there and live there and act like a local. And I got that chance, so that tattoos to represent my time over there and how much I enjoyed it. So those are my tattoos. I have my symbolic and geometrical arm over here and then I have my life events and experiences and traveling arm over here in more detail. If you guys out there have tattoos and you have meanings behind those tattoos, please don't forget to just let me know in the comment section. I'd love to interact and get involved and know what tattoos you have and why you've got them, so the meanings behind them. And that brings this video to an end. If you have liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Do I need, I need to sign out in a different way. I don't know. Should I get a hat? I'm going to use this to sign out. I think, yeah. No, I'm not going to say that. It's to represent. And that is going to be the, that all. In the elbow. Just giving it a minute to focus.